to make a special presentation on behalf of the football community. Please welcome to the stage, dual premiership captain, Tom Harley. Brownlow medal night. The night that celebrates all that's noble about our great game. And tonight, we wish to recognise the contributions that football people have made in some exceptionally difficult circumstances. These are the footy pioneers who live in regions and countries that this year have been ravaged by natural disasters. The floods across Queensland and Victoria, the earthquake in New Zealand and the earthquake and tsunami in Japan have had catastrophic effects. Tonight, we wish to acknowledge the significant contributions being made by Australian football followers in each of those areas. Floods devastated Queensland's Lockyer Valley. Many lives were lost and thousands left homeless. The Lockyer Valley Football Club was hit hard, losing most of its equipment. But they carried on in all weather. They lost every game, usually by over 100 points, but their inspiration was their coach and president, Tony Bowers, and their secretary, registrar and team manager, Donna Bowers. Husband and wife are the spirit of the Lockyer Valley Demons. Four days after Lockyer Valley, floodwaters raged through central Victoria. At Newbridge on January 15th, the water level over the football ground was two metres deep, washing the ground scoreboard down the Loddon River. Ever since, Newbridge has been on a mission to rebuild. Led by President Ron Trimble, the people of Newbridge refuse to be broken. Just over a month after Australia's floods, New Zealand was hit by a monumental disaster. The February 22nd Christchurch earthquake claimed 182 lives. The aftershocks go on and the pain will be felt for years. But the Canterbury region's Australian football season is up and running. The home of Canterbury Bulldogs president and founder Steve Langridge has been condemned due to earthquake damage. But not only is Steve helping others with their properties, he's also playing his part as a rugged defender for his beloved Bulldogs. Only three weeks after the Christchurch earthquake, on March 11th, Japan was hit by one of the most powerful earthquakes in recorded history, and a tsunami. Recovery will take years, but among the volunteers in the Tohoku region are members of a footy team called the Tokyo Goannas, made up of mostly expatriate Australians. They started fundraising immediately after the earthquake and are pitching in to do their bit. The Tokyo Goannas are determined to help their neighbours. In Japan, in Queensland, in country Victoria and New Zealand, these football people are striving to recover from the most difficult year that their regions have ever experienced. All facing up to adversity with extraordinary courage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our pioneers of Australian football, Tony and Donna Bowers from the Lockyer Valley in Queensland, the co-founders of the only AFL club in the region, Ron Trimble, the president of the Newbridge Footy Club in the Loddon Valley, Victoria, Steve Langwich, the captain and coach everything of the Canterbury Bulldogs in Christchurch, New Zealand, and speaking on behalf of our pioneers, the former president of the Tokyo Goanas, Ron Mitchell. Ron, you've uh, spent the best part of the last couple of days with each other. Football's the common bond. How important is it? Oh, look, Tom, it's been absolutely terrific, um, you know, getting together with these guys and talking, I guess, about our collective experiences. And although they were very different in different regions throughout the world, um, I think the overwhelming similarity was following the disasters, how the community got together and, and started the rebuilding process, both physically and mentally. Um, and the local footy clubs are an integral part of that. So inspirational. Now you were 26 floors up in Tokyo when the uh, tsunami and earthquake hit. That must have been absolutely terrifying. Yeah, look, um, certainly experience I'll never forget um, for all the wrong reasons. Um, but yeah, just to feel the quake come up through the building, and this is a big building, through the superstructure and hit the 26th floor and pretty much all hell broke loose. Um, yeah, it was a, a terrifying experience. Well, let's talk about the footy, the Tokyo Goannas. The Japanese samurais were, uh, were pretty good in the International Cup. 
Some talent coming through? Oh, look, absolutely. The Japanese kids, um, they're fit, fast and young. Everything we're not on stage. Um, but yeah, terrific bunch of young blokes and absolutely love their footy. Incredibly passionate. Can't speak much English, but love their football. And was anyone, uh, unfortunately, left at home for the International Cup? Yeah, look, um, really sad story about a young kid, Kaz. Um, his family lost their business, basically, to the tsunami. Um, terrible story. And I believe his uncle also passed away. So really tragic story for the young fella. Well, we were moved by the story of 21-year-old Kaz Watanabe and how he had to withdraw from the Japanese squad to play in this year's International Cup in Australia. Hopefully, this will make up for Kaz missing that trip. We've flown him here to Melbourne to be our guest at Football's Night of Nights. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kaz Watanabe. Now, Ron, I'm going to have to lean on you again. Kaz's English is, uh, is OK, is OK, but loves his footy. Uh, who's he support? Which uh, one's skiing our team, what? I like... Oh, uh, sorry, I love... <laughs> Carlton Bus. <laughs> well I'd now like to invite the chairman of the AFL, Mr Mike Fitzpatrick himself, Kaz, the Carlton Premiership captain, to make a very special presentation. Each of our guests on stage will also receive a signed football signed by all the Brownlow medalists in the room tonight. Kaz a bit overwhelmed by all of this. Chris Judd's already on there, so plenty of Carlton players on there as well. And I'm sure all football supporters everywhere will join me in thanking all of the volunteers. They remind us that footy brings people together. No matter where we live, what language we speak, we can all share our love of the footy. I'd now like to invite you all to give a round of applause to our football pioneers. And back to the count, the big news is that Dane, Dane Swan leads the Brownlow from Sam Mitchell, who obviously isn't eligible, but I reckon we're in for a huge finish. Make sure you stick around for the 2011 Brownlow medal. Tuesday and Wednesday. Come on! Well, you look Georgie's a quirking in their pants. Just crap.